Welcome to BuildBox 3. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Asset Library. Let's start by double-clicking on our 3D World, and this will take us to our 3D World Scene Editor. Up here in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a button in a section called Asset Library. Go ahead and select Asset Library, and that will take you to the Shapes Library and the Assets Library. In the Shapes Library, you have a list of different shapes that you can use for your game. You can also combine these shapes and make more complex shapes and objects for your game. You can add these shapes and objects to your Objects Library by clicking the Add to Library button over here on the right, or by simply double-clicking one of the shapes over here. I'll go ahead and I'll double-click on this cube, and you can see that the cube was loaded up and added to my Objects Library. Next, we have the Assets section of the Assets Library, and this is a really, really cool function and feature of BuildBox 3. We have a bunch of pre-made smart assets available for you to use in your game. So a great example is this coin smart asset. I'll go ahead and I'll double click on this coin, and I'm gonna add this to my current game. So I'm going to click on Asset Library and get out of the Asset Library, and then I'm going to add this coin to my little runner game that I've got right here. So I'll simply take my coin, I'll drag it into my scene, and then I'll reposition it and move it so that my character runs into it while he's running through the game. So let's go ahead and do something like that. Let's make sure that it's all lined up. Okay, I need to bring it out just a little bit more. And then I'll go ahead and leave it um, good size there so that it's really easy to collect. That's a little bit too big. You could probably just shrink it down just a little bit like this. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and go over to our mind map, go into our UI, and then I'm going to add a quick score label so that we can see that we're collecting this coin. So I'll go ahead and I'll put it over here on the upper right hand corner. I'll change the function to score. I'll change the world to current world. I'll go ahead and keep the score type as points. I'll change the amount to current. I'll go ahead and do a center alignment and I'll click stick to edge as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. So I'll go back to my mind map, go to my 3D world, and what we're gonna do is we're going to have this little Milo running character jump and collect the coin and we should see our score label represent that. Okay, let's go ahead and press preview and see if we're collecting the coin. I'll do a double jump and then I can collect the coin and you can see the score label in the upper right hand corner. Okay, great. So that is just a small example of what you could do with the asset library. Let's go back to the asset library and take a look at some of these smart assets a little bit more closely. We have spike enemies, platforms, different characters that you can use, a flapping character. We have a ton of prepared game objects for you to make your game development process as easy as possible. And to help you decide which assets you would like to use for your game, you simply click on the asset that you would like to learn a little bit more about and we have a short description here and we also have a quick video demonstration of what the asset looks like when it's being used. You can go ahead and select any of the assets right here and then just take a look at the video and decide whether or not you want to use it for your game. Thank you very much for watching this video. Keep an eye out for more videos at buildbox.com.